It's time now for the Mike Rickenbaugh Ford Lincoln Give Mike a Try dot com game of the week. All right, the Give Mike a Try dot com game of the week featured a region championship at Dillon Memorial Stadium. Wildcats second in the states hosting Georgetown, who has been on fire as of late, winning a slew of games after starting off a little rough. This one, on paper at least, looked like it was going to be one heck of a clash, and it didn't disappoint on the field either. Let's head up to Dillon and tell you exactly how this one played out. Here come the Wildcats. Let's get it going here. Jackie Hayes in search of a career high and wins with 300. Georgetown, though, gets the ball going. Opening drive. Paul Lance breaks off this nice run here. This young man playing well all season long. Brought down, but not before he's deep in that Dillon territory. Bulldogs going to cash in. Alex Smith on the 26-yard touchdown pass. 7-0 Bulldogs, and they were rolling. But Dillon, well, they storm right back. Jay Lester, the 34-yard strike to Taquan Porter, the 2017 All-Zoner, ties the game at 7. Later, though, it's Porter doing it on defense, too. Coming up with a big interception off the tip. That's eight on the season, and Dylan is back in business. Move to the second quarter. Wright takes a pitch, scores from two yards out. Extra point, no good. Dylan up 13 7. But Georgetown closes out the first half strong. Swing pass to the kid Anderson, and the all zoner is going to do the rest from there. How about 57 yards to Pater? And Georgetown led by one at the half. Opening kickoff to begin the third quarter. Georgetown's Jabril Walker finding a hole and then busting through with some defenders. He's going to take it all the way back. 96 yards for a Bulldog touchdown. All of a sudden, Georgetown was up 20 to 13. But Dillon gets the equalizer late in the third. Jalen Williams. Runner in from 16 yards out, and we are knotted at 20. Following a turnover, Dylan in possession to score again. Right on an 11-yard touchdown. Dylan up 27-20. Still in the third, Jalen Williams on a one-yard touchdown run. After that, uh, playing some serious defense. And then we've got Huggins. On a jet sweep, takes it 26 yards to the house to extend the Dillon lead. Wildcats scored 35 second half points, and Dillon wins the region title, beating Georgetown tonight 55 27 as the Wildcats remain perfect in 2017. 9 0, 4 0 in region. Region champs yet again, which has become pretty much a given in Dillon. Uh, the last decade or so. Bulldogs fall to 3-1, and one, their first region loss, but hey, they're still in great shape to get a first-round playoff home game if, of course, they take care of business next week against Waccamaw. As for Dillon, they're back home next week to take on Lake City to conclude the regular season and then turn their attention to the postseason. But tonight, it was all about region championships and milestones for Coach Jackie Hayes. And our own Mark Haggard was there to take in all the sights and sounds. And he joins us now with the winning coach who set a milestone and has plenty more to go before he calls it a career. Mark. And the Dillon Wildcats roll in the second half. A big win over Georgetown to clinch another region championship. Career win number 300 for my friend and head coach of Dillon, Jackie Hayes. Coach, tremendous game tonight and a win over Georgetown. But particularly, are you reaching a milestone with 300 career wins? Well, I, I tell you what, it was, a, it was a heck of a football game. And, uh, you know, coming out after halftime, uh, we had a pretty good prayer meeting there at halftime, and uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we we finally we finally played with some excitement, and uh, you know, we pride our guys and the coaches. Uh, you know, we kind of got slow starts for some reason here the last couple of weeks, but you know, able to turn it on there in the end. But feel very fortunate to come away with the win, and uh, you know, this is a special night. You know, not not this isn't about me. This is about our program, and you know, the 26 years that I've had an opportunity to be here, and it's about the you know our administration, um, our coaches, and our players, and you know our our community. Uh, you know, 
we're all in this together, and uh, I think that's real important. It was brought up in the post game that you took over a 1-21 and program. How did you do it? Well, you know, we, we had a plan, and, uh, you know, the first, first coaches that were with me, uh, they were coaches that coached me in high school, and people said, you don't feel a little odd? I said, well, look, uh, I had confidence in them back then. I know I have confidence in them, in, in them now. So, uh, you know, we got a tremendous coaching staff here at Dillon. Uh, I tell you what, you know, a lot of those guys could, you know, they could definitely be running their own programs. But uh, they've stayed the course here, and, uh, you know, we got a tremendous working relationship and uh, can't say enough about our administration either. Um, you know, they, they support us tremendously and put the tools in the toolbox to give us a chance to do the things that we do. You had me worried, down by one at halftime, and I want to pan the camera over to that lady wearing the yellow shirt, Miss Mott. She, you, Coach Hayes, you had her worried, and she is probably the number one cheerleader on the sidelines, and she was worried that Dylan wasn't going to pull through. Well, <laughs> I, I think one thing, though, that, that sets us apart from a lot of other teams is, uh, we don't panic. I mean, uh, we, we know it's a 48-minute game. Our coaches know that. Our players know that. Uh, but I was worried enough for Mott. She didn't have to worry. I was worried. Coach, I'm going to give you an HTC game ball. We have never given a coach an HTC game ball. Number 300 for you. And you. the gentleman standing over here, Dawson Dove, fantastic job. But this. I want you to I want you to put this ball in your trophy case, but this goes for the entire Dillon team tonight. You guys fought back from adversity. It was a good Georgetown team you beat. Yes, sir. Um, you know we go out and practice and practice every day like it's we're playing for the state championship, and we just do everything as a team. And that's how it's supposed to be. You got Lake City next week. Yes, sir. Um, we'll do the same thing. We'll go out, ch know the championship, yes, know the game. Oh, yeah. thing we are leaving out the cheerleaders aren't we ladies don't we have a cheer let's hear your cheer go ladies to celebrate early. In Dillon County, it's kind of that way with you and Lakeview winning all those state championships. But you know what? Tonight is a night to celebrate. You guys are a perfect 9-0. and oh. Does this team have what it takes to win another state championship this year? It's a young bunch. Well, you know, the good thing about it at Dillon, that's our goal every year, and we feel like that uh, we let down if we don't get to that point. So, uh, you know, there's what, six <laughs> weeks left in the season? Yeah, we'll, if you we'll, make it all the way to December. Well, you know, <laughs> you know that's, that's our goal, and uh, we'll be working to get to that goal. Can you do it, guys? Let's hear it. The Dillon Wildcats in the end zone. Let's hear it, guys. Congratulations. 